Here we go. Yes, let me see those combinations. Good job. I love it. Thirty seconds. Let's go. That's the way. You know, we could have done a little bit better, but we could have done worse too. Today, let's go in there and get after it. Now you're learning. Man, your next opponent is going to be no match for you. Oh, nice punch. Nice punch. You felt that one. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That punch damaged him, right? Power. I love it. Let's go. You've got 30 seconds. Let's go. There we go, that's a combo. Great job in there. I can already see. All right, let's see what you got today. Speed and power, that's it. Nice, now we're putting these strikes together. Yes, that's the way you master your craft. Hey, 
way, he's starting to fall apart. All right? Stay on him. Combo's coming. 30 seconds. Beautiful job. Your kicks look so easy. Anytime. Speed, timing, reaction, that's the goal today. <laughs> nice work, lock him down. There you go, there you go. Now work on the finish. Nice, 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 nice. Lock it. Go, go, go. Nice work. Lock him down. Okay, nice, nice. Work for that submission. Come on now, 20 seconds. All right, we're gonna take the lessons from today. My clock doesn't stop until you submit him. Let's go. There you go. Nice work. Lock him down. Hey, you're coming along really well. Nice work, lock him down. Hey. 
Nice, nice, nice. Finish it now. Here we go. Hey. And 30 to go. Good, good. Great pass. Keep moving. Some nice transitions today.
Coming up next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. Well, this dude is a submission magician. I am very thankful I am not fighting him here tonight, and it's really a case of pick your poison. He has so many different chokes in his arsenal and has been a master of getting these fights exactly where he wants them. There are black belts and there are guys like this who can do jujitsu at a level that not many people, regardless of the time spent, can truly get to. His understanding of position is truly unbelievable. He always has the frame. The moment you start to press into him, he's always underhooking, always looking for the next escape route, but not to get back to his feet. Right. He wants to go from bottom to top. If he's in the top position, you are constantly, constantly in danger. Don't think he can't submit you from the bottom. Right. But his position of choice will always be in the top position sitting yes. in that beautiful half guard. Yeah, his striking also has improved a lot, but no secret as to what he'll be trying to do in this matchup tonight. Well, it's always tough when you draw that high-level wrestler who has a lifetime of experience in a one-on-one -on -one competitive situation. Prevailing wisdom is he'll have the wrestling advantage in this one tonight. As his dad said, the moment he introduced him to the sport, he knew that he was made to be a wrestler. The kid slept in his headgear. He only wants to wrestle, and by doing that, he puts you in danger. He's constantly in your face, constantly trying to dig at your gas tank. He goes from transition to transition, single to double to high crotch. It does not matter the attack. He just knows that he will give you so much to process in terms of the wrestling that eventually he will get you to the ground. You ever sleep in your headgear? I sleep in my headgear. All the time. All the time. All right, big one for him here tonight. Let's get to it. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC Walter White division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of five wins, no losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, Dynamite. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a wrestler holding a professional record of one loss and one no contest. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, C.M. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. You ready? Well, it's good to see this man back inside the octagon. Round one getting underway here. As many of you know, he won his last fight by blistering knockout. His popularity. Has absolutely soared. You ready? You ready? All right, ready to go for round one, and it's hard not to hook him back to his last appearance. A huge knockout victory for him that set up this particular showcase here tonight. Can he keep the momentum going and register another knockout? His fan base is swelling. He is more popular than ever after a big knockout win.
last time out. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Shades of the Hall of Famer Randy Couture with the dirty boxing here. And I know you can speak to a lot of the little movements and spaces that he is obviously maximizing. He's doing a great job of just following the blueprint from Randy Couture to the next guy, to the next guy, to the next guy that have allowed them to go to the top of the sport. Let's see if it takes him to the top of the sport. You're too humble to say Daniel Cormier. A little bit too humble to say. Just humility just <laughs> pouring out of your veins right now. Back to the feet now. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Blocks the shot. Separate. And he comes through with a big knee. Bethany hurt him. And a knee. Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. Dude's hurt. Serve him off. Go get him. He loaded up there on that high kick. He got him. And just inches away from landing one of those big right knees. Single collar tie now. Just missed with the left there. Great punch landed with so much power. Just out of range with the big right hand. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Big leg kick land. Leg kick checked nicely by CM Punk. Just out of range with that kick attempt. Here he is back in the clinch. And a nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. Just misses there with the left. That knee might have landed there. 15 seconds to go. Uh, single collar tie here. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing. 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 All right, so there's the end of the round. And on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed. Great punch. Okay, ready? Round two. You ready? Let's All right, go. here we go with round two. Oh, and he connects with a the punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch him punch like this puts his power on this. Hands. 
and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 32 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Dynamite! Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout. Strong. That's what we're doing today. Come on there. Show me. All right, okay. I see you. Wow, that kick damaged him. Keep going.
This round, I just want to see heavy punches. Let it go. Oh, big punch, big punch. I love it, I love it. That'll leave a bruise. Come on. Hey, you're coming along really well. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That punch damaged it, right? Power. I love it. Let's go. Beautiful combination. I love it. Keep it up. Put the pressure on him. Don't stop now. You got 30 seconds. Great combo. Keep it up. This round, I just want to see heavy punches. Let it go. Nice punch. Nice punch. Dealt that one. Good work with your hands. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. He's starting to fall apart. Oh, you look like a champion in there. Oh, nice punch. Nice punch. He felt that one. Come on now, you got 30. Oh, that combo was tight. Come on. Great job in there. I can already see some improvement in your punches. My clock doesn't stop until you submit him. Let's go. I love those strikes. I love those strikes. Nice combination there. Oh, 
Your next opponent is not gonna be able to keep up with you. Okay, there it is. Great work. Focus on progressing that submission. Finish it now. There it is. There it is. Don't stop now. You got 30 seconds. Nice work. Lock him down. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yes, folk saw some nice submission skills today. Really? Okay, BJJ 101. I want to see maximum efficiency and minimal effort. Be smart with your traps, and don't expend too much energy looking for that submission. Let's go. Don't stop. Don't stop. You dominated today. Good work. Nice, beautiful setup on that submission. <laughs> keep going, keep going. The submission is there. Keep going. 30 to go. Show me. Beautiful work there. Go for the finish. Nice. Nice setup on the submission. That's the way to go. Night. All right, let's get in there and move. Let's see more of those. You're listening perfectly. Nice work. 
Yes, the kickboxing damage. Exactly. That's it. Work on that kickboxing damage. Yes, nice. Those kicks are on point. You could throw it from anywhere. Coming up next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. Well, this young man is a really accomplished submission specialist, and sometimes fighters get offended when you call them a specialist, but most people know what he's trying to do in there, and to this point, no one's really been able to stop. John, he will try to pull guard. He yeah. pulls guard anymore in the UFC at this point. But he understands that for him to be successful, the fight has to be in the grappling, in the jiu-jitsu. If he's able to extend these jiu-jitsu exchanges, he is the guy that is generally going to win. He understands position. He understands going from point A to point B. He always is the one controlling the underhook. Always has the frame. Just a knowledge of jiu-jitsu that not many people can match. And you can be sure as he makes this walk tonight, he's thinking about just how quickly he can get this fight to the ground and utilize those aforementioned high-level submission skills. Well, he's never held a UFC title, but he has every other record you would like to have in the UFC. Most wins, most finishes. He is the perennial contender, Donald Cowboy Cerrone. And this recent form he has shown since becoming a father, arguably the best of his story career. The very best Donald Cerrone we've ever seen. And the reason he has so many records is because he's a guy that really embodies the term anybody, anywhere. You bring an octagon, you put it in the middle of an arena and invite Donald Cerrone, he will show up and he will give you a fantastic performance. Donald Cerrone is every man's favorite fighter and rightfully so. When he has faced adversity in his career, he has come through with flying colors. See the win over Yancey Medeiros that stopped a skid. Donald Cerrone with momentum back on the proving ground here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. Both fighters identical in age with similar height and reach. Now to get us started, the veteran voice of the Ladies octagon. Ladies and gentlemen, Bruce this Bull fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, 
a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of six wins, no losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, Dynamite. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A Muay Thai kickboxer holding a professional record of 36 wins, 17 losses, one draw, and one no contest. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, USA, Donald Cowboy Cerrone! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Dan Mergliata. So Dan Mergliata shares the cage. You ready? Go with round one. His knockout streak really has been the stuff of legend. Knocking out contenders left and right. He's won his last three. All of them by flush knockout. Shades of Vitor Belfort back in 2013. We'll see if he can keep it going here tonight. He can't even, he can barely stand. All right, here we go. Our first round is oh. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that fence down now. Should leave a mark. Outstanding leg kick employed there by Cowboy Cerrone. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Effective punch there by Cowboy Cerrone. I mean, he's cutting down the size with a beautiful leg kick. understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year near perfect execution tonight. Back inside the arena now, we go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 46 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out, Dynamite! Well, the celebration is on in his corner and hard to blame these guys, sort of waiting to exhale, get a huge win tonight, and not just the win, but they get it by submission. They knew what they had in front of them. They knew how tough a competitor his opponent was, but they also knew that if they could get this fight to the ground, they could find a submission. They found a submission. He got his hand rate, 